Oh my God, it is so crazy how they are lying like hell. Huh. Whew. Hello everybody, it's Ishmael and your priest and I welcome you to today's video. They are lying like hell. Don't fall to the trap, okay? Don't fall to the trap. They are lying like hell. There's a serious lie that is going on. And I'm telling you this, um, I like saying this, in fact, recently. I've realized the importance. Um, maybe we don't get this teaching often. But let me tell you, when you hear a, a prophetic word, a prophecy or a prophetic word, it is not necessarily to warn you or to alert you at, a, at, a, at that time alone, but it is, becomes also a lesson. That is why sometimes even I, I learned this without a prophecy being given to me. One time uh, I was watching TV years ago, then a man of God prophesied, this other lady and he was like no 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 this other man he was like ever since you slept with this other prostitute you started having problems you once slept with a prostitute and he agreed that he once bought slept with a prostitute and his life was never the same started to go upside down so you know one thing that also came to me i was like yeah okay now i see because you know one thing that causes uh most people Christians to be ignorant is this the fact that you find that they have slept with different people for instance and uh, still their life was smooth things would go well they would pray and they feel answered so one thing I learned is that yes as much as it's not as one two three that the next time you sleep with this if this person is um struggling financially no yours will begin no it does not mean that it's going to happen automatically like that there are some people who are contagious that is how the at least the revelation that i got out of that that yeah there might be some people that you as a christian you sleep with and then nothing happens but don't take it for granted that you could have been in a situation where those people they were not contagious now when finally you sleep with someone who is contagious it becomes an issue and some people no matter how hard you would want God will provide ways for you guys not to ever sleep together. Not to. And you realize that you were already willing to fall into the temptation. But then God provides way for the person to act weird or they themselves pushes you away. And you'll be like, but if it was Satan, Satan was going to allow you to do it. That is Satan. There's no way that you can say Satan is it's because it's fun for you as an individual to have that intercourse and enjoy, but Satan knows the damage it is doing to your spirit. In fact, someone, you know what I'm talking about. I feel like someone, you've been in this position. Now, at least you understand why this was the case. So yeah, this is how it works. Satan will want you to sleep with every person, one by one. But the moment even that person starts to act weird, it is not necessary that you have bad luck, but they are doing you a favor. Because you know, doing it, it is going to cause you to sin, right? So do you think Satan will want to miss out from the, the opportunity to make you sin? An opportunity to inject a demon inside of you. So that is why at the end of the day, some people are contagious. And you get the revelations, you learn. So even myself, I learned from that experience. As I say, you learn as a prophecy. That man was given a prophecy, but from that prophecy, I had a lesson. And it taught me something. That is why I'm telling you today, right now, that you are learning as well. They are talking, they are saying things, they are lying. And this can come, can be a trick to trick you to put you into a corner. I have been. Okay, or let me ask you a question. Haven't you ever been in a situation where you are being lied about? And then when they've been lying about you, you try to want to prove a point. And you know when you are trying to prove a point, in the process, you end up even saying things which you're not supposed to say. And what do I mean? I mean this. Sometimes these people, they are lying because they don't understand what is going on. Or perhaps there is a secret that God is using to prosper you. Secret that God is using to do those amazing things he's doing into your life. But then, the moment you start to talk, now, 
they know the truth and with that truth just because now they have something tangible and it is real be careful my mom always likes saying things like better people they don't know some things about me or maybe if i am using something they i mean something like i have a secret strategy to prosper or academically if i have a thing i have a way in which i pray studies and stuff it is helping me to pass godly even if it was not godly the bottom line is if it's in my secret if it's your secret to your strength if they are to know they're gonna use the same strategy that is why you see people today they start businesses and you find that other people start the similar or same business but then they don't make it your their business doesn't go well then the next person is going well they eventually come and say hey, you know what i've been trying please teach me how can i make it proper less yours is blossoming and they will say okay if you want your business to work out do this do this do this and that and the person applies it works and they be like wow that's the thing and sometimes some people eventually they even get jealous they be like yo now i'm losing customers oh that's why some people fight so it gets deeper there are some things that if they don't copy what you're doing physically they close you spiritually in schools we know so well there were instances where if one child is too smart some of the naughty grannies or parents they will say make sure you steal a book of that child that you say is the smartest in class we're gonna do something that wisdom will be transferred to you that is why we grew up being told to be careful with our books and stuff like that because out of them they can steal your wisdom they will lie like hell up until you reveal what is your secret they will say assume different wicked stuff up until you come out and explain yourself and now they oh so this is it they don't like you even if you come clean it's not like they're gonna benefit you any good sometimes let them talk so long as they are away it does not get in your way let them be proving a point is not necessary i for one i'm always that person who likes proving a point or should i say over explaining myself commonly but i've one thing if i'm to be proud of myself is i think sometimes when it comes to what matters the most i have learned to accept some things that some people are gonna assume and already if i have as i i've um already prepared myself i don't bother no matter what they say i just laughed it out because it's almost like i'm watching a movie they are fulfilling what i suspected so i don't stress about it that's why i'm telling you today that in the name of the lord jesus christ every lie that they are spreading about you don't be shaken someone in fact you are in a situation where a lie is spreading about you but remember before you explain yourself ask yourself do you really have to if you stay and you don't explain yourself what harm will it really do like really i know you might think a little bit some what if something what if those people assume are they gonna break you are they gonna change anything is there anything they can do about it no so why do you care i pray for you let the wisdom of the lord fall upon you right now in jesus mighty name and every lie that is spreading around about you i crash in the name of jesus christ amen and of course that's all i had my details on the comment section below see you next time